Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppy Who's Cracking It's Steve Boss here after this video by the Voice for the People Reactions title. Kyson that responds to backlash from Kodak Blackstream and Lil TJ speaks. So apparently Lil TJ is mad at Kai. Um, so yeah, but let's get an update and see see what everybody has to say about this this uh perk situation. Let's watch. Kodak Black was on Kaisenet's live stream and people are mad at Kaisenet but not ending his stream when Kodak Black came onto his stream acting strange. Some people were saying it seemed like Kodak Black was on something. We got Kodak and Kai before oh, the man, test. Like that. Oh, we saw this part. What does oh, Kai have yep. to say? That's that ride or die shit. Like, hey, 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 that is Kodak. Come on, bro. I'm a Jew. Yeah, with you, yeah. Uh -huh. I feel that. Yeah. Because I got a motherfucker. Is he Haitian? He sounds exactly like uh, what's that dude's name? That TikTok comedian, Terry Reloaded or something like that. Like exactly, he he's probably Haitian. And he sounds like uh, preach. I think preach is uh, Haitian. Too. Let me let me see if he's Haitian. I'm not as Kodak Black alive. Why are we all Googling these things? It's fine. Yeah, he is Haitian. I about to say W yet? W guest. I love this for me. I feel like, you know, years ago, I was very ignorant to, you know, different cultures and different uh, accents and stuff like that. But now, you know, since I travel so much now and, you know, I feel like it's opened my mind and, and allowed me to... Uh, be more aware of different, you know, accents, cultures, and stuff like that. Um, because before, I don't feel like I would have picked up on that at all. But yeah, he's Haitian. Please say that boy, you that boy, you. Please tell me that boy, you that boy, you. He sounds just like Terry. He said, "You gonna, you gonna pay for it. You gonna, you gonna buy it for me." <laughs> Cause y'all don't know any Haitian people. I don't think we have a Haitian community. I mean, I'm sure we do somewhere, but I just... At one point, it seemed like Kaisenek was afraid someone come and blink if you need help. The only people that was responsible for removing Kodak Black from that it's situation himself. was the people he came with. He came with y'all. He was acting like this when he got on stream. Ain't nobody I'm at no sure. point thought, oh, maybe we should postpone this. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Nothing. But y'all putting the blame on Kai. What did Kai say? Dices on your live last night. But here's what Kai said had to say. And blow my mind up. People are blaming you. Kodak Dices on your live last night. Why would you end your live for the next one, man? Dices. But sad for just showing up to do it and needs help, obviously, anything for clicks nowadays. Um, what? And he would have, he still cut the shoe off when he seen something was wrong. Chad, you know, Chad, you, you gotta understand, bro. The person that watched the shit, so I cut the shoe off, but we don't watch shit. And plus, I don't know what was going on, bro. You know what's so crazy, though? Yeah, like, uh, and isn't he a, like having a 30 day stream going on right now or something like that? It's supposed to run 24 7, so why would he interrupt that? Oh, people, I thought he came That's with him with just security, but when he left, he had like a whole team with him. And I'm like, you would think, like, they'll tell me something or something like that. You feel me? But I don't know. So it was weird. Y'all be on type of shit. Y'all be on. Look, hate this kid again. The because he. Yeah. TJ, trying to like any type of little shit. Oh, y'all can come in that way. Oh, I think he. Yeah, watch the net. He commented. He said, "I think hate this kid again. The biggest D rider in life." Aiden Ross defended Kaisenet by reaching out to TJ via DMs, and they ended up getting into it. So TJ took to his platform to respond to Aiden and Kaisenet. Oop. So little TJ said. Dick Ryder, I think that's what that says. You too. I'm going to show you little nigga something. Question mark, question mark, question mark. You tweaking. Me and Kai always show nothing but love to you. Okay, this is not Kai. I think this is Aiden, she said. 
Uh, gotta stop taking them perks. That shit fucking with your head. You say you tweaking me and Kaisa that always show nothing but love to you. Gotta stop taking those perks. That is just effing up your head. Then Aiden posted DM and said, Yo, Kaisa that keep doing your subathon. You killing it. Don't mind this perk head. I told Aiden your coach of OT, he told me I'm on perks. I don't take perks. I don't take drugs. I might sit playing a little now and then. <laughs> Actually, less than you. Fucking. I look like I take perks because I'm black, right? I know. I know. He told me. I bet, bet. I sent him a voice note about how I feel like your coach of OT. He told me he's not watching that. He's watching the election. And that I need to stop taking perks. That's what he think about. He just grinds his way to the top using that little face call he got. Mm. And use it. I mean, he, he is a leech of the culture. Let's call it what the fuck it is. That's how he got super popular, so. And now he pro Donald Trump and <laughs> and you know making his little slick comments. So I I agree with that. Everybody, they only f the top notch is because they using this culture vulture. Stop looking at Yak like he's a widow. No, sometimes that's how rappers act. Nigga, I wasn't looking at Yak like he was a widow. I was genuinely confused. I, I was what the fuck? Nigga, he on drugs. Talking about okay, now he sounding stupid. <laughs> Stop looking at him like he a widow. That's how rappers. What what rappers you know that act, he was clearly on drugs. Like let's not play dumb. That's how we act. That's how we get. That's how we. That's act. how y'all act I'm on mad perks. Confused, bro. Yeah. We different from niggas. This is the one lane where hood is get to make they bread. Hood get to make they bread and put off for other niggas. Now you lost me. Real shit, bro. So sometimes rappers could act weird. It's from different places. He was on drugs. Clearly, are you dumb? And I don't take perks. I get high. I don't take perks, though. You said you drink lean. Why you say fuck me? But I thought we was cool. What? He say hit you. No, what? I don't lie. That was a bad analogy. I ain't gonna lie. Lorilla came on to stream last night. Previously, Lorilla and Kaisen had had beef. Lorilla admitted that she paid some dudes to come to Kaisen at house while they were beefing. You smell good. What you got on? A whole lot of everything. A whole lot of everything? That's what it's called? Do you know why this is special? Why it's special? Cause like she was cute. Cause like we, we had like a little bit of differences. Oh, our beef. Our beef. Our beef was crazy. Chat. Our beef was one of the craziest beefs of twenty twenty. Uh, when was that? Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty three. Yeah. What you did? You know when I got the beef with this child. First of all, you did not send nobody to my house. <laughs> okay. All right. I thought you said it already. If you didn't want me to say that, you should have told me this before I came here. Who? What, when did you send somebody to my house? You don't know. I did that. What? Okay. Whatever. What? Yeah, you was in Georgia, in Atlanta. Not you saying uh -huh. the name like, you know, me and Kyle, he, you know, we were talking about how thick I was the last time we talked, right? Glow, I never talked about how thick you was. <laughs> when, when was yeah, she's a little delusional. She always talking about she thick, and now you lying on other people. <laughs> saying that they said you thick. You can lie to yourself, but lying on other people is crazy. I'm when I talk about my shoulder ass, and we were talking about how thick I was. How long was this? Before yeah. everything? You got amnesia. You can't no, amnesia. No, wait, hold on. Before everything? Before I yeah. beat? This is before I beat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we cool. We're talking about the thick shit, right? All right. Bam. <laughs> so then, uh, I guess Sizz blocked you. No, Sizz didn't block me. Okay, hold on, wait. Let me start right now. Oh, you know, I thought you said it. Somebody no, blocked no. me. No, okay, that's what they thought. Sizz didn't block me. I just, um, when I sent a message through, something happened, but I wasn't blocked. I thought you did. Okay. And so I saw how mad you got. And so when I thought I saw you do the review, I said, I'm finna make you the same man. And I blocked you. And you thought I was so mad. You can't get mad at my review. I, 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 I didn't even get that mad. I just, I just wanna see me piss them off. Cause you ain't got mad. You be like, oh my god, I saw your reaction. When well, you thought she blocked you, and I thought I'm finna do the same shit she did to you. I was so, you know, I was hurt. You was hurt. Nah, real shit. Cause I really, at the time I was really fucking with you. And I'm like, damn. She blocked me out of nowhere. <laughs> she, she blocked you me out of nowhere. Salty. Listen, it's a cha cha cha. But let me say That's this though. Ass. Bro, no cap. After that song, I feel like personally you ain't miss. No facts. I feel like you've been on a fire. I feel like you've been on a fire. <laughs> Run. She needed that, okay? That lit a fire under her ass. Oh, so after she got that bad feedback, I feel like she went to the studio and stopped playing because he's right. She ain't missed yet. I love her album. I play it every day, <laughs> okay? She been dropping bops after bops. Even her features have been good. So she's been killing it. Um, As far as this whole situation with Lil TJ, shut the hell up. You sound dumb. 
I don't understand why he needs to get on line and try to defend him. You defending drug activity, I'm talking about all the top rappers act, we all can clearly see he was high. You sound stupid. Uh, but yeah, there's that. <laughs> and we can let, uh, let this Kodak shit rest. Hopefully he gets the help he needs. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.